Bye, everybody. Bye, hi, hi. Well, we're out of here. I want to look for a couple things. And so I want to go to the Goodwill on the south side of town. Now, this makes it sound like it's really far away. It's not. But we all seem to avoid the south side of town. Why? Is it a bad neighborhood? No. There's no such thing as a bad neighborhood in this town. <laughs> so anyway, let's let's go to Goodwill. Yeah. It took me 10 minutes to get here, and that's because I went through the university, which took off. I mean, add it probably three minutes. <laughs> so, I'm here. See? Goodwill. I didn't even know we had a Goodwill for the longest time. But there's this real thing, like, I'm a north side person. And I don't know how to explain it. I, I, I think we're stuck up, but south side people are where all the, the, well, wealthy live everywhere here, but they're the big SUV, big homes, you know, I don't know, kind of uppity people, where I live on the south side, which are more the artists, the poets, and, you know, the Prius driving tree huggers. It's the tree huggers. So, uh, there's something bad everywhere you live. <laughs> Let's go shop. I just went into this place called the Brewing Market. And I think that's the one by this hardware store I go to. And they have pre pretty good coffee. Um, I just asked for a dark roast. <laughs> what else would I ask for? Well, I bought strange things at Goodwill. Which, I think it's the fun of it, just buying strange things. Um, and it's hot. And I didn't know there was a Whole Foods here. I did not know. Um, so I think I'm going to just go home now because it's hot. Um, and I, I put on long leggings. But I did find the pair that keeps falling down on me. Apparently it's the Calvin Klein's and they have a little hole in them. So I'm gonna take like a dart in the back because they're perfectly good. What I'm finding out is like, if, when they stretch out or if I lose one pound, th that's when they start falling down. So I will take care of this with my sewing machine when I get to black, a month white, but I'm gonna take these off because every time I find them, they end up in the dirty clothes and I can't remember which ones I which ones it is. So it's Calvin Klein's with the hole in the lake. Which I don't know how I got the hole in the lake. Oh, I'm home. I had to cool down. Oh, I got so hot. Oh, I was drinking some coffee. Tonight I have to go to a, a homeowners association meeting. Uh, so I bought some weirdo stuff. Um, I got a tea kettle and I plugged it in and it took about one and a half minutes. This coffee is bothering me, my coffee problem. It's, it's like, oh, it's just a constant bane of my existence. Um, so I'm gonna do French press. I just have to find the French press. And I got a black t-shirt by Cynthia Raleigh. And it's just a, a cute, it's a thicker knit. And it has like, you know, like a cute bottom to it. And it was, I thought, I thought it was Four ninety nine, but turned out to be a dollar ninety nine. Um, I guess shirts are on sale. And then I bought a brand new pair of Hey Beauty. They're brand new. Um, uh, all made 
man-made material but uh, hey beauty we love to see the DV style posts to you on whatever um, they are a silver shoe with the I call it rope I don't know what you're I, supposed to call this part and they are a champagne they're not really silver nor gold they're kind of champagne and I thought they would make a good um, fall shoe and they were $4.99 but again it seemed like I paid $1.99 for a bunch of stuff <laughs> really bought weirdo stuff I even bought a bra. <laughs> it is a brand new bra. Tags are still on it um, for 99 cents. Um, it's my size, so I'll try it for 99 cents. Um, strange. I don't know. I bought strange stuff. And then the facial buffs that I use to clean my face. Brand new pack. 99 cents. But I got like you know a senior discount on everything. So I paid I don't know. I think all together it was like 10 bucks or something. And I mean it was. I think that I wouldn't you know I like going I, so I think I'm going to go to Goodwill more often. Um, I'm just not a knick-knack type person. So when I see new things like this, you know, these fit perfect. Um, and I can put them in. This is the year. I don't know if you can understand this or if I can articulate. This is the year where I'm wearing what I own. I found two shirts stuck in my pajama drawer that I was going, hey, I wonder where they are. Um, uh, so this year, the clothes are all coming out. I have, I, I couldn't tell you the sweaters I have. I'm going to put them on if I don't like them out of, out of the house. But this is the year. Because, you know, I keep looking at fall fashions. You know, and it's like scarves and stuff. Well, I you know, or like, you know, booties or this or that. I have all these, I have all these shoes. I have, you no. Know. So I'm wearing the clothes I have this year. So that should be interesting what I end up finding because I have a closet that is two stacks deep. Stack, stack. Stack, 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 and there's about, I'd say, five rows of stacks. Who knows what's up there? Um, and if I don't wear it, or I, I don't think that, I mean, if it's real nice clothes, you know, um, I'll save some of it. Oh, talking about that, yesterday was my volunteer day. I sewed all day. That's why we're on the floor by back. My back hurts so bad. Um, <laughs> I just love these. Like, it is. I do not belong to the congregation or the church that, but I sew for them. They offer one of the few places like back to work. Um, they'll help dress you, not just one outfit, but like they'll try to put you into five days. Um, they have children's clothing, they have, you know, it's basically, I think, geared toward women and children. And just walk in and tell them what you need, and they will try to accommodate you. I swear, these ladies, <laughs> what was nice about it is, I now have a sewing machine there. They got me the same sewing machine that I use. Um, because it has hand controls, which is good for my tendonitis, my leg that, uh, you know, the foot I broke and I ended up with real bad tendonitis in it and my sciatica and stuff. So 
I think it's really cute. And they bought me like a whole sewing basket of stuff. You know, I have several different size scissors. I have needles. I have just about, you name every color under the earth thread. And I thought it was so sweet of them because before that I would have to bring my, all my sewing supplies. And I really like it. They've set me up a little area so I can like really work, but it tends to be almost a full day. But, you know, I do encourage people that see, you know, it is so easy to find something that will suit you. I mean, I like to sew, and I really like to do bending. <laughs> I mean, I love to sew buttons on. <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and a lot of it is the clothing is new, but they'll have like part of a seam out, so I'll put the seam back in. I love it, and I think it's good for your soul to give back. I really do. So, I mean, so I thought it was funny. Jules brought me a present for Kai. I guess she just had to get it. She just thought it was so cute. It is a little owl backpack and she said that it just screamed Kylie to her because Kylie likes little odd things or girly girly things so she's hoping she'll like it I think Kai will like it after all muffin you know she takes muffin everywhere she goes still so it can just be the muffin bag but I think that cute little backpack it's got little feet on it I think it's just adorable. When I went to her black belt party, she had me run it out to my car because she did not want to forget to give it to me to give to Kylie. Um, see, so that's about it. I'm still working on my apron. I can't... having trouble getting motivated these days. Um, I'm really happy that the weather is warm today, but like the other night it was 42 degrees. I was underneath my quilt. It felt so good. I had to pull the down quilt from the foot of my bed up, and it was like, oh, it was just so snuggy-wuggy. And it really raises my spirits. <laughs> So, but other than having to go to the homeowners association, I mean, you know, I love having input in the community, the direct community, the housing that I live in. But it is just so argumentative. People it seems that there, there's that group of people that argue for the sake of arguing, and I just, you know, and that makes. Yeah, the camera turned off. Camera got bored. But anyway, as I was saying, it's the group of people that argue for the sake of argument. <sighs> you know, there are troublemakers everywhere you go. Um, so other than, I don't know. I haven't heard enough about, I have to read about this, but supposedly there are 13 zodiac signs now. No. I'm a Pisces. I'm staying a Pisces. I am 100% a Pisces. Um, I think it would make me, if they throw in the other one, I would be a Aries. I'm not an Aries. Trust me. <laughs> so, I'm working on the apron. I got only have one more dish rag to go. And I'm staying in Pisces. I don't care what anyone says. I have no idea where. I mean, it, it, this has been talked about. But I don't know why all of a sudden it's like hot issue. But I'm a Pisces. I'm staying in a Pisces. So they can just forget that. Well, I have to kind of go because I've got to get to this meeting. And uh, like I said, I mean... I'm just seem, you know, I don't know if it's just, um, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be the first day of fall this week. Oh, it's so cool. I just can't wait. Um, 
we've already had kind of a pre-fall party. I might think about having a fall party. Um, I might. I have to grab something to snack on. And I really can't, you know, other than, like I said, please go out and find something to help help other people. Help your community. I know that Susan W., bless her heart, they do a first responder event, which I think, it, it just, the, I, I just think it's just so sweet. Um, it, it truly, it, it brings me to tears. Um, I, I just really think that I, I don't, it doesn't matter where you are in your life. Um, you know, it never hurts to give back. It's good for the soul. Um, and like, I just knew a woman that belonged to this church and they needed some sewing. And so she, you know, they would first bring the stuff to me and that became tedious. So I go to the church now to sew. And it's just whenever they need me, they call me. And, um, you know, it, it's, you know, who knew simple mending and stuff was um, a uh, hard thing to to find somebody to do. <laughs> well, I have to do, but I have to, I have to get motivated. I have to get through this. And I'm making Amanda a pair, the skull the sugar skull, my favorite material. Um, I'm making her a pair of pajama, pajama bottoms. I'm tempted to send them early, but I want to save them for her, her big Christmas present because she so loves them. Because um, she, Thursday, the first day of fall, will become a homeowner. It's official. Um, and <laughs> to a point where she's going, oh God, I have to pack now. <laughs> but, uh, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I love you to pieces and thanks for the thumbs up and I love it. You know, I, I, I get like a new subscriber here and there and I like go, whoa. <laughs> So thank you so much. And I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.